finally happening, thanks to this guy. Make sure y'all follow his YouTube channel. He doesn't want to make a YouTube channel though because he thinks it's, they're all the same. He needs to be special and unique. Follow his YouTube channel. All right, so in this haircut tutorial, we're gonna do a few things. I think it's a, it's a transformation in my opinion. I mean, we we about to give them, um, a crispy lineup, a blurry fade, all that. So, um, the way I'm starting this haircut's a little unique. I'm starting at just the edges, and the reason why is because I'm trying to create a ghost line. I want it to look like it was color enhanced, but it's really not. It's just hair. And so I'll start my fade here using the same steps I always teach you guys. We've slowed down the level work. You can follow along with the color guard um, chart on the bottom left corner. But yeah, you can see um, the, the one is wide open. Now we closed it and right underneath where we left off with the one open, we'll go with the one closed. And you can see the angle that I'm using my clipper as I get close to his hairline. And that's allowing me to keep that that length um, at the edges, the hair length at the edges, so that it looks darker. Um, it's just a little bit, just a f you know small amount, like almost. We're going with the clipper almost all the way to the edge, but not quite, just enough to where you still see a little bit of darkness there. And you'll see. Um, now I have the trimmers in my hands. I'll put the line on there, and you'll see it start to pop some more. So that's without the razor and you see it, it almost looks like it was enhanced. Um, it's these little details, man, that, that can make your haircuts really pop. Um, so try that, guys. Let me know what you think about that technique. Um, now we're just kind of connecting the rest of the fade to the ridge. We use our number two. It was a three on top, so we're using a number two and then a one and a half guard and then a number one open to bring it all together to the sides. But yeah, it's a number three on top, probably like a medium high ball fade. And now since his hair is already pretty low, I'm just going to go ahead and knock out the lineup because I already have the trimmers in my hands. And guys, we're only doing one side of the fade. I'm, I'm only going to show you guys because it's the same steps and I really want to focus on the ghost line and then, you know, towards the end some more, some more stuff. So. And yes, we have the T outliners, um, the review coming soon, but I have a surprise for y'all, so that's why I haven't dropped the, uh, the the review just yet. I also have a Bronze Series 9 review coming as well, um, and you'll see I use them here. And I left that length there on purpose, because I, I want to show you guys the power of these things. Like, we didn't trim this down, and I don't know another shaver in the world that can do this right here. It's like a one and a half maybe on the sides or one open on the sides and it's just literally just shaving it still yeah the andes are the wall shaver they can't do this not for you know to to be faster and make sure you you know it's still a comfortable shave but to be fast i would still trim it down and then use the shaver it, it's faster but you know this is just to show you guys the power of the shaver And there's links in the description box below. It's the cheapest that I found it. You can get without the self-cleaning dock for like 200. There's a link in the description, or you can get it with um, for 230. And I recommend getting the self-cleaning dock. You'll see in my review. All right, so now we're fading the rest of the haircut. We're starting off with our blade open, and now it's closed. We're starting to um, blend it. Notice I'm not worried about the line. I'm just worried about creating a transition so it's closed right now then it's open some then it's open some we're focused on creating a transition when you're creating transitions you're gonna create uh, more lines but each line is a level up each line is like it's like a step you know so 
So I did this pretty quick and at an angle, and I, I left a lot of like little dark areas. So I'm going back now just to just to clean that up. That's another thing, guys. When you're creating each of these guidelines, take your time, be clean. Um, fo pay attention to details. You know, like just having that mindset and while you're fading, man, will you know set the tone for how your fade's gonna come out. So now we have a number one guard open. Coming right off the ridge of his head. And right below that, we'll close the number one. And we'll go up just below where we finished off with the one open. And you'll see there's still a little bit of darkness um, where the blade open goes to the one close. That's where this handy dandy half guard comes in. And you don't need it. I don't need to use it. But especially for beginners, it's good to just use it because you, you won't make a mistake. You don't have to depend so much on your your technique or the flick of the wrist or anything like that. So just make life simple. Use technology. Use this half guard. And you can see it brought it all together pretty much. So pretty much that's it. That's all the steps. Um, above the Prado Ridge, I gotta clean that up some, but now it's pretty much detailing, man. Paying attention to little dark areas and um, just trying to smoothen out the, the, the blend some more. And now we're working on the hair above the Prado Ridge, working on blending that in. Again, it's like a medium high, more like a high fade. Um, here we have the number two. And the reason why we're going at it at this angle is because his hair is growing forward. So this is allowing me to cut it against the grain. All right, so that blend is done. Now we're adding the color enhancement and watch how it pops. Oof. It looked good before it, but it looks real good now. Yeah, come on. That's that just that made the fade and the lineup look look blurrier, look cleaner. And honestly, the way that I sold this to my client was pretty much, hey man, do you like your your hairline real sharp? He's never had this done before. I asked him if he likes it real sharp. He's like, yeah, man, yeah, as sharp as possible. I'm like, bro, I'm gonna try something out on you. It lasts just as long as your hairline. So as your hairline grows back, the this this um this goes away um so you mind if i try it so nah go ahead absolutely loved it he told me it lasted a week the last time i did it it lasted him a week so now we're using the 245 straight razor the triple cartridge razor you can find it at 245.com and this is you know just that extra attention to detail getting rid of all that stubble and making the line pop even more And now I'm just going back and detailing because once you once you put the line in, man, like, and you're looking at it in the mirror, you could really see a lot of things um, that you might have not seen before. But this is this is where your client sees you going above and beyond, and they respect it. They like it. So I had a lot of fun with this haircut, man. And guys, if, if you're somebody that's trying to get it, make it to the next level, I understand a lot of my viewers are not barbers, probably just looking for your next haircut or how to cut your kid's hair. I understand that. But if you're looking to get to the next level, if you're a barber, there's an online academy. You go to tune45.com and click education. Um, that's where the in-depth stuff is. That's where the stuff that YouTube won't allow me to drop is. And um, also the hands-on, the tour is there. So we're visiting two cities every single week for the next four months it's going to be insane so make sure you guys catch that as well so this is it man that's the that's the finished result um you guys let me know what you think in the comments below smash 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 that like button it means the world to me um definitely share the video all that good stuff you already know guys um and that's it man let me know what you guys think in the comments below did the ghost line look enhanced enough um or did adding the color enhancement just make it pop that much more what's your preference 
Natty and I.